All right, I am 16 hours into fasting. I'm planning to fast 42 hours for Evelina Falenta's 42nd birthday. She is the second place runner up of Polish Idol season one. And I like how she uh, has made being single her strength and not a source of bias and judgment in her life. And I, I, uh, I, that's a big problem for myself. Although in Poland, there's a lot more openness compared to here in the United States, where people believe that everybody in the United States has to live just like everybody else. Uh, diversity is definitely something that is an ongoing challenge that we deal with here in the United States, right? Um, there is one thing I noticed today. See, a lot of times, aside from doing these occasional long fasts, I also have dietary restrictions, right? So it's very, a lot of people don't understand that food that they eat every day, you know, they might have a hundred ingredients or they might prepare it and you can't really eyeball what they use. Uh, there, there, uh, 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 there seems to be a difficulty in understanding that not at any, not everybody can just pick up a food, an unknown food and just put it into their mouths and swallow it, right? Uh, there are plenty of people who cannot eat, uh, freely do that, right? They have to know what's going into their bodies and um, to somebody who, d who doesn't need to do that, it may be difficult to understand. Now, one thing I noticed is that when I tell people, I'm sorry, I'm fasting, that's usually the end of the story. If I have to refuse food, uh, no thank you. Oh, just try one bite. You know, I put a lot of effort into it. You know, can you imagine if you asked for some kind of sexual favor and somebody said no? Oh, how, how about I just touch you for two seconds? That would not fly very well, right? For some reason, now people might argue that's a very different story. No, I would argue it's not all that different, right? They both involve bodily functions. They both involve differences in feelings about it. They both involve maybe even diff different medical uh, issues, right? Maybe, um, you know, there's a lot of um, problems that um, sex can, can, can cause medically, you know, whether they be uh, contagious disease or differences in body chemistry. I would argue those two are probably not all that different. The only difference is maybe the age range, right? Everybody eats, but uh, people don't usually develop sexuality until a certain age. That's about the only difference I can think of, right? And, um, you know, I, I wish there was terminology, right? You know, I'm on a sugar-free diet. It doesn't sound nearly as, as fancy as fasting, right? We need a new word, right? It's kind of like why we say social distancing. We don't tell people to just back away six feet. We have a phrase for it so people can refer back to it, right? Anyways, just some food for thought on this uh, subject. It's a very difficult subject for me, right? Because, like I said, just try to imagine having to, def to defend why you don't want to have sex with somebody every time it comes up, right? That's how I feel about my food choices sometimes.